July 1st, 1960. George Washington arrives at Port Canaveral to load aboard her first live test vehicle. Compatibility checks must now be performed to provide maximum insurance for a successful flight. July 18th, 1960. George Washington underway for instrumentation checks and a final analysis of the complete weapon system. July 20th, 1960. With the odds 80% in favor of a successful launch, the final countdown begins. Man Battle Stations Missile, Man Battle Stations Missile. The blue and gold crews of the FBM submarine who have trained more than two years for this day are ready. So are the complex systems within the submarine far beneath the sea. Her navigation system capable of pinpoint accuracy. Her communication system, in constant contact with the outside world so far above. The fire control system, which will compute the ever-changing ballistic path the missile must follow. The launching system, which will propel the missile up from the depth. And the Polaris missiles resting firmly within their launch tube. 12.39, and count. minutes and still counting. Dispatch from George Washington to the President of the United States. Polaris, from out of the deep to target. Perfect. And perfect she is. 1532. To punctuate the success of this historic test, the countdown begins for a second Polaris. Polaris re-enters the atmosphere and strikes its target 1,000 miles downrange. 
climaxing a spectacular four-year countdown by the government, scientific, and industry teams who have, on this day, given the nation three years ahead of schedule, a new naval weapon that promises to move the United States into a new age of security.